Well, in its first verdict since it was established 10 years ago, the International Criminal Court found Congolese warlord Thomas Lubanga guilty of recruiting child soldiers during a conflict in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Human rights groups have welcomed the guilty verdict for Lubanga but say he should have faced more charges. Analysts also say ruling, the ruling could be a sign of things to come for other African ICC suspects. Henry Ridgewell has more from London. After a trial lasting more than three years, involving more than 60 witnesses and more than a thousand items of evidence, the International Criminal Court came to a unanimous decision. Chamber concludes that the prosecution has proved beyond reasonable doubt that Mr. Thomas Lubanga Dailo is guilty of the crimes of conscripting and enlisting children under the age of 15 years into the FPLC and using them to participate actively in hostilities. An ethnic Hima, Thomas Lubanga, led the rebel group, the Union of Congolese Patriots. The court found him guilty of recruiting child soldiers to kill rival ethnic Lendus in the gold-rich Ituri region during 2002 to 2003. Videos shown in court by the prosecution showed Lubanga addressing fighters, including child soldiers. The trial focused solely on the use of children. Human rights groups have called for a wider court investigation into abuses during the Aturi conflict and the wider wars in the DRC. It's estimated more than 50,000 people were killed and hundreds of thousands were forced to flee their homes. Lubanga was arrested in March 2005 and transferred to The Hague a year later. Phil Clark is a specialist in African politics and the role of the International Criminal Court at the School of Oriental and African Studies in London. Lubanga really ultimately is a, a very middle-ranking official uh, in the rebel movement and uh, a bit player in the Congolese conflict as a whole. So many Congolese who've lived through this conflict uh, are surprised that the International Criminal Court isn't going after more senior suspects, uh, including uh, actors in the Ugandan and Congolese governments. This is the International Criminal Court's first verdict since it was set up 10 years ago. Clark says the ruling is a big step for the court. Certainly this is a landmark that, that I think the ICC has waited a long time to complete its first case. But relatively speaking, th this has still been quite a long and drawn out affair um, with various stops and starts. It's a trial that ha has almost collapsed on three occasions because the prosecution's investigations were very weak in Congo. They relied on third-hand evidence, they didn't do investigations on their own, independently on the ground, and that's really weakened this case. A sentence hearing will take place at the ICC in the coming months, and judges will also decide on possible reparations for Lubanga's victims. In the meantime, Lubanga has 30 days to appeal the verdict. Henry Richwell for VOA News, London.